Talking with Tigers is a new business book filled with secrets from successful leaders. The author, Frank Furness, hails from South Africa and is now based in London. For the past 10 years, he's been a motivational speaker, working with some of the most successful companies and business leaders in the world. His clients even include the British Olympic team. Well, Frank Furness joins us now to discuss Walking with Tigers. Good morning to you, Frank. Hi, Florence. It's lovely to be here. Thank you. You encourage your readers, firstly, to, to emulate business tigers. Can you describe what, what a tiger is like? To me, a business tiger is someone that's got passion, they've got a vision, they see things different to anyone else. And one of the biggest things that have come through for me is the humility amongst all of these fantastic people. Yeah, you talk about ethics and integrity. It, it's not doggy dog. You know, these are people who, who do things the right way. Absolutely. As well. They care about other people. Uh, for them, they just know how to lead people and how to get the best out of everyone that works for them. Mm. You say a tiger is a no-limit person. Let, let's talk about that. For me, a no-limit person is, I'll give you an example. I met a guy called Martin about five or six years ago, and it was his first year. And I said, what are you going to earn this year, a million? He said, no, don't even put limits on me. Today, he owns a company worth $650 million. He's one of the most successful business leaders I've met. And for him, there is no limitations. The, the world is his oyster. Mm. I, I like the way you were brutally frank about yourself, about your own early struggle when you were getting into business. And, and the one thing that you had was persistence. That, that's part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a bit about your, your story as well, just, just for our viewers. Uh, when I was at school, I was pretty average. In fact, I looked like a nerd, but I didn't have the brains. So <laughs> it was a real struggle for me, and I always wanted to be good at something. And I got into the financial services industry, and that's where I could really prove myself. Mm. Because we grew up in a tiny little mining town called Blaifereitzich, and when the, the earth sort of fell in, we had to leave there and start all over. My dad started a business, turned into a really successful business, and once again we moved to England about 14 years ago, and I had to start all over. And I think if you've just got that persistence and that will to succeed, mm. that's what makes it happen. Mm. I, I like in the book, um, you, you do give practical advice, and, and the one thing that we've heard often is, is write down your dreams and your goals. Um, and you, you're saying that's very important. Why, why is it so important to write it down? I don't know, there's something about pen touching paper and going up here while we're sleeping, the mind is just working on it all the time. I've always written down goals. I was in Singapore recently and I met uh, the ex-Mr. Universe and he also said to me they write down absolutely everything to the nth degree and then it sort of goes in here, uh, the subconscious works mm. on it and it just sort of happens. So, so I, I understand you shouldn't limit yourself, you should write everything down, but then you start being practical and deciding exactly how you're going to achieve That's that. It. Have a dream list, write down everything, and then start seeing which is believable, achievable, and have one huge, outrageous, hairy goal. Mm. One thing you were talking about as well is uh, creativity. So, so, so tigers have good skills, uh, time management, they, they delegate well, um, but, but you're also saying there is scope for creativity. How? How in business and, and customer service, for instance? One of my biggest clients is a company called Cobra Beer, and he says you've got to look at the whole market and then say, what can we do that is better? different and create new markets. So he's always coming up with creative ideas. In fact, his sales force is young South Africans and New Zealanders that he gives a truck to and says, go out there and make it happen. Whatever profits you make goes into your pocket. So they're not employees, they're self-employed people. And that's what I love is a lot of these visionaries are so creative. They mm. think differently to everyone else. Just thinking out the box. Absolutely. Uh, finally, we are running out of time, but but also I, th I think you look at things holistically and you're saying you don't have to sacrifice everything for work. In fact, the tigers you've noticed have, have a good balance, don't they? And, and a holistic view where, where they take care of their, their physical and spiritual needs as well. Well, that's it. To lead a balanced life, it's not just about money. I know a lot of successful people that have got all the money in the world. Mm. Um, um, but they also have that balanced lifestyle. Their family is the most important thing, and more important than anything is your health. You can replace money, you can replace everything else, but hard to replace your health and your family. Mm. All right, well, lovely to have you in, Frank. And Walking with Tigers has hit the shelves. So I've seen it at Exclusive Books. Um, so a nice practical guide uh, learning from successful leaders from all over the world. We were chatting there to Frank Furness, the author of Walking with Tigers. Well.